Hola, mis amores y sugadores, ¿cómo están? It's me, Mary, your favorite American cat girl. Hopefully your favorite American, I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not about to kill all these boys. I'll have you know, I played through all of Pikmin 1 and 2 with only losing, like, six Pikmin. On stream, you can confirm that. You can, you can fact check that. That's real. <laughs> Anyway, we're playing Pikmin 4 today. I keep going to say Pikmin 2 for some reason. Um, I'm very excited. I didn't even know this was coming out. Well, I never I never played Pikmin 3 on stream. <laughs> so there's no evidence to say that I lost more than 2,000 Pikmin in one battle, okay? That's fake news. You can't prove that. <laughs> yeah, that it's fake, it's false. You don't know me, you don't know my life, my life story. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sierra says this game is like pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, my Wii kept powering off, it was kind of crazy. I don't know, that, hopefully that won't happen here, but who knows? It is the summer, you know, my, my power is prone to going out and all that. <laughs> So, uh, you never know what could happen here. <laughs> Granted, it's a Nintendo Switch, so it won't power off. Um. Oh, shit, there's autosave. Rest in peace, Dex. He won't get his, uh... Pebble pitcher. Interesting. He won't get his, uh, no-save, uh, run here. No more power outages for you. Say that like you aren't going to Texas, right? Texas? Oh, I guess you're going back to school. What year are you in? I, I feel like we've been, you and me have been in school for 18 years. Has he always had a voice and has it always been this deep? Okay, now that that's like an outline, like a shadow, it's a lot more unsettling to see. Sarah says yes. <laughs> what? Is this is this real? Did this happen? <laughs> I don't I don't remember this happening. Or is this like Lord to, to this game? I won't kill any Pikmin actually. Did he crash again? Bro, we've been playing for like three seconds. I'm already confused. You know, there are people who like ask a million questions, like playing, like watching movies or anime. It's like, just wait, they'll be answered. But sometimes I feel like I'm just confused and questions have been answered already. Wait. What the fuck? My dog's blue! Look 
Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Oh my god, he's got like a little whistle thingy attached to his, his mask. Wait, where are you running off to? Wait, I'm... Did I miss something here? I feel like I missed something. I feel, I feel like I missed something. Am I going crazy? No, no, no. I won't kill a single Pikmin. Today. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. So his ship crashed again or something and he found a new dog, but it sounded like he had found Pikmin for the first time. Am I crazy? Also, I don't like this implication that humans are in fact alive here because, you know, in my in my world, the, the Pikmin world was like a post-apocalyptic type situation. A uh, hundred years after humans have disappeared and this looks too clean to be the case, so I'm a little confused, but I guess we'll figure it out. I do see the suitcases. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. It could be hiding behind those things. Let's, well, yeah, it could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. <laughs> when we jump, I'll start, I forgot his voice is so deep. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. I just need to press... X and hold down in the in the game and full rush. Cool. Uh, that was the very first thing I saw was the suitcases. You think that they were trying to leave and they all died? You think that the world recently ended? Because in my in my canon, the world had been dead for a hot minute. So, so the, do I just start with the dog? Like no no like real story. Like I just they're just like yep, your ship crashed. You found Pikmin. He made it sound like we found them for the first time. And, uh, I found a dog. Yeah, but this place is too... clean. I guess it could be this clean when it's people just abandoned. I don't know. Uh, X. Cute. You'll see. Aha, I knew it. Now I'll use the B to call them back to with my whistle. I just wish I knew the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I've never been noticed this in my voyage log. Oh my god, they have little quitters on his side! I'm okay. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. Can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back. He's my whistle. So, like, in the second game, he hadn't crashed, right? He had come back to get treasures. I don't remember what happened in the third game. So, he crashed his ship again. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. This is so cute. Oh. Come here, little guys. Hop on. Look at them riding on the side of the dog. Look at the dog! Look at him hop around! Already game of the year, easily. I don't know what other games came out. Uh, okay. Also, these plants would be dead. It sure did move. This is cute. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong button to whistle. Can I get rid of the little, like, instruction sheet? It's 
blocking my vision. Oh, this is a cute bag. Whoop. Maybe the grass is fake. I guess that's possible. I just love how the dog moves. This is awesome. This is the greatest game ever. <laughs> I've already made my decision. Just based on the fact that I can carry Pikmin around on a dog. I don't need anything else to, to make that decision. Uh, oops. <laughs> oh, I missed some. Okay, let's be a ship around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those ship parts, girl. Why isn't my dog yellow like in the promotional videos? Do we need to stay on the scent? I'm kind of busy. You'll see. Don't remember what I said, but I guess I'll see. Let me know if the game's too loud. Oh, they're having fun. Ooh. I believe they are. Let's stop them from having fun. Yeah, but do you have enough Pikmin? I don't think so. About the dog. Okay. I can't get up there. I'm too short. Alright, let's follow the stupid scent thing or whatever. The way he moves is so satisfying, I, I can't explain it. That guy looks hard to fight. Creatura? I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? This seems complicated. I feel like this is going to be hard. Okay. Hold on, I gotta get a good angle. Oh, okay. Alright. Ooh, first bat out of the way. And no Pikmin loss. We're off to a good start, I think. <laughs> it's the Interstellar Radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Still don't know what happened. Like, why did we crash? Did I skip a cutscene by accident? I feel like I'm missing some really vital information here. Am I going crazy? He just always crashes. Alright, that's fair enough. Well, let's look at planet Earth and how it looks. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh god, there's so many of them. Dog. Another dog. Oh. 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 Oh my god. This is cool. Uh, find the dispersed rushing corpse is your now top priority. Oh my god. Oh my god, I get to customize my own my own Olimar. I'm pretty tall, I would say. Wait, I didn't select it. But my face is rounder. Damn. I like this one. That's actually pretty, pretty close, I would say. Wait, can I change my hairstyle? This hair sucks. I did. I skipped over it. Um. I mean, this is like the most like me, but I'd rather kill myself than have a bowl cut, so I won't be choosing it. <laughs> I'll go with this one. <laughs> oh, I just want to make sure I have all the best options. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's all right. Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently slept a dangerous mission to rescue their mission colleague. They, them pronouns? Okay, go crazy, go stupid. Not only my fate, but the fate of the Rescue Corps. Rest of the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. Guys, when that when that US official said that aliens had visited the planet already, this is what they're talking about. They were actually trying to do promotion for Pikmin 4. <laughs> it, it wasn't about actual aliens, it was just all an elaborate Pikmin 4 advertising campaign. Coincidence it came out at the same time this game did? I don't think so. So no dog, huh? Wait, my character's kind of cute. I can't jump anymore. <gasps> dog! <laughs> I would do anything for this little creatura. I'll be honest with you guys. This young, loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Wow, I'm, I already got one. I'm pretty good at this. What's his name? Owachi? Owachi? I'm gonna call him... Uh, uh, I'm gonna call him Oat. Uh huh? What is it, boy? Oh shit, I got a second one already! Let's fucking go? Wait, I can't ride this one though! Oh, 
Oh my god, he's so strong. Holy shit. Good job, Oat. Is that you, Ochi? <laughs> Take the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? It's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin. Okay, it's a fucking lame-ass name. Communications operator for the rescue corps. As Rescue Corps' comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Oh my god, two? Holy shit, this has to be like the f world record here. Hello. My path got cut off by a small landslide. And when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to snap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Mary, isn't it? Well, hey. I can be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, however... It was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no! Oh yes! I spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the, aircraft, the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. It, it's not almost, it is embarrassing, actually. I found that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Guys, is Shepard, like, a famous space person? Because, like, Commander Shepard's also a character from Mass Effect, and that's space-related. Is it, like, is it, like, Shepard, like, a, in, like, in, like, canon, you know, our world, a thing? And we're lucky we'll come across a few strand rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Hello? Tap up on the left side uh, there to open and review your missions. You can use the app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment, moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus, it's like shortcut settings. You can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Wow. Now then, let's go find out the SS Shepherd. Yahoo! So, like, I can't ride the dog again? Is it because he's baby? There she is, the SS Shepherd. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. That ship looks pretty intact, all things considered. The planets on this planet are gigantic. Always make sure the area is safe with R. Don't worry, buddy. Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way up there. Then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. Yeah, well, with that attitude, it is. How do I send him? Here we go. <laughs> Oat? <laughs> More like goat, am I right, gamers? Oh, hey. Chabo, what you're making? Almost there. <laughs> hey, hey. Guys, I'm a, I've been making some pretty good jokes today, so get ready for that. See why the rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh, this looks just like the other hole we oh. saw. Well done, Ochi. 
It's like uh, this morning, my mom said that I was smarter than the average bear, and I said, I sure hope so. Bears aren't that intelligent. <laughs> it does look pretty dark down there. I'm not a coward. Now, if I could, like, not get Pikmin, then that means they won't die. So I feel like if I could just play the game without Pikmin, that'd be for the best. Oh my god, I'm so lethal. Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Okay. I don't like how moist the ground looks. Wait, so is it because I chose pink that we're all wearing pink? Oh my, what a place to find the captain. That terrified image will you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Mary. The captain comes from a long line of rescue officers going back at- Don't do it, Mary. This is no time for history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Captain Shepard. <laughs> like from... <laughs> like from... from. I literally just said the game name and I still like can't remember. That's crazy. Ha... my... Uh... Ha... The... Uh, Mass Effect, thank you. <laughs> Get his ass. Good job, buddy. <laughs> That's not what I said. Yeah, it is. Whew, now I can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. Wow. Wait, is that is that? A... <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna ask something really offensive. <laughs> are they a girl? Or are they gay? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm making them a girl. I've decided. Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. It's a girl. Can it be both? I guess that is true. <laughs> I guess that's very true. I mean, my character is they, them. Maybe everyone's just they, them. Oh, you! I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Mary? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to be anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Aha! 99th Gen Rescue Corps op Officer. She was res saved by- Oh my god, I can read words so good. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Wow. We found Captain Shepard with the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing here down here anyway? Oh. Exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over. I understand. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up to those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepard? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then what are we wait waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Mary. Copy that as the rescue corpse way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? I'm just baby. 
Copy that. Very good, excellent reply. That said, you'll have to you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions essential to our work. Okay. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as you as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bounded, I officially approve your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. <laughs> Captain, do you, remember you, do you remember where you fell from? <laughs> hmm. There was a life from above. <laughs> I remember this area. I sure hope so. There! That's where I fell in! My word, thank you, Sarai, to fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Hey. <laughs> 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 Press X to use Oats Rush technique. You can shake objects loose and break things on impact. So I guess I wasted time collecting all those Pikmin, huh? Wow. Oh well. <laughs> Excuse me, Mary. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. <laughs> I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Not even a moment's hesitation from me. That's why I'm so good. Alright, Captain, the Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the staff's report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway. No other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Now let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for challenges uh, inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us, but you both did good work today. Well done, Mary and Oshi. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that I, we had rescued the Captain herself. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I'm a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course, and good for you, you did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Am I reading fast? I feel like I'm reading fast. I just like want to do my own thing. Like I don't care what they have to say. Is that smoke pointing out the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous, famous last words. It'd be funny if he died. Status report: Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. The spaceship was in seconds away from total destruction. What? I don't know. Will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown. Everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. Um. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Well, hey. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain, in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. After a thorough investigation of those shiny objects found on this planet, I've deduced they contain sparklium. <laughs> I feel gated to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. <clears throat> In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. They can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard. Those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but at this point we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Apparently 
Only sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepherd. Once we collect these treasures, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. But it's so far away! We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? It's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. Imp and push wing. SS Beagle rep repositioning successful. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Yahoo! So, like, they have to follow me? Like, they have to follow me? Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tower to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. Alright, rookie, press plus to open the radar map. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can console your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Interesting. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But, uh, how are we going to move it? Go, my little guy. The cute fork. <gasps> Look at him go! Ah! He's strong as three Pikmin. That's crazy. Treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. Nerd. We'll examine it, examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Fifty already? Holy shit, I'm going crazy. If we can collect 250 more units of Sparklium, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it run on Sparklium alone, although it may be a bumpier ride. Before that can happen, we're gonna need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. Cool. So all I had today was three pieces of bacon, lol. Can I get him up there? Hmm. What's this? Is it a treasure? I don't think so. Maybe? It's not sparkling though. Is it a pod? Is it a pigment pod? It looks cool. It looks tasty. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how the little legs look. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Time to be Pikmin pilled. <laughs> how it moves, I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? Looks like. Looks kind of like a plant. Could this be the thing that Captain Almar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? Also an onion.
Oh my god, he's got an official title. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Well, well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Look at that. Oh, she's already being <laughs> already bonding with the Pikmin. She didn't just use herself as well, Mary. <sighs> and, uh, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? <laughs> my little guy is my little badge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. It feels good. Like the little controls, that felt good. I like that it tar auto targeted. Oh, the little Pikmin noises. <laughs> what? More sprouts? I read the like, thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed once the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What mysterious life form? Can I, like, turn off their commentary? This ain't my first Pikmin rodeo. Oh. Oh, he can attack it too! This is awesome. Pikmin 1 is so stressful compared to every other Pikmin game. Just because of how many... How, like, the time limit. You know, they're pretty, like, tall in this. Am I- am I correct? Like, the Pikmin seem taller. You definitely cannot turn them off, but <laughs> I just want them out of my life. I just want to do my own thing. It's like a bike bell? Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Another treasure collected. We need to keep this up. Nice. Go, 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 little buddy. <gasps> Watch out! I never had a Game Boy SP. I was close, too close. My cousin did. I played on theirs. Yeah, I had a Game Boy Advance. We had two of them, I think. We had a pink and a, a, a purple. Oh, we had three, actually. We had a pink, blue, and a black one. I forgot about the black one, because no one ever used it. And then we had... <laughs> uh, two classic DSs. I think three or four DS lights. Uh Thanks a bunch. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. 
Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Well, hey. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Right. Get started right away, Colin. Yeah, Colin. I've played so many video games in my time. Sometimes I think about like how much media I've consumed and I think that I might be capable of bending space-time. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Because how did I spend so much time playing uh, like Harvest Moon and also like watched every cartoon in the 90s and also later on read over 4,000 manga and then also, you know, like... It doesn't, it doesn't add up, boss. There's a lot of games where I've put over 300 hours into them. Including the Chow Garden and Sonic Adventure 2. Yahoo! We restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkly emit extracted from the treasure. We did it! The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we can pick up any signals. Picking up multiple SOS signals. It could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. We don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescue in. Nice. Day one went pretty good. Nobody died. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. Path creator. That's awesome. I have never once in my life heard the term Biden, but it does make sense given there's a trident. Is that like, is there an object people call it Biden, like just in general? Um, or is it just like a categorizing thing, you know? We encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. Yeah. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. I disagree. Aww. I was wondering when I saw the smoke building out of the SS Shepard, didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repair repairs. I've been roughing it for so long. Oh my god, for long enough. And there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough en emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. Counter us talk three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now tomorrow we'll focus on recon. You, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Mary. Don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Yeah. Ow. Cool. The missions haven't really changed from like trying to stay alive. Oh, look at her! <laughs> There's an Angus in your DMs again. Alright, I guess this is everyone. I call the strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been rescued, recovered. Thanks to the effort of, efforts of Mary. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown. I'm totally not eating a, a protein bar right now. <laughs> and the SS Shepherd's out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Almar, has run to some roadblocks. Fun. Our first priority now is the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Amen. Mary, Ochi. Fly to the area where our raider picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepherd's wireless communication at all times. So you'll have our full support. Huh? 
I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, it'll be in good pause with Oshi by your side. You two make a great team. Hello? Captain, what about a search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Captain Almar shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discovers whereabouts while you search for missing rescue officers. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps on your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more useful than when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Sure. Which I would like to explore. Yeah. It looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get it out there and find them. I hope we get more uh, Pikmin lore here. I want to know more about the house. Oh, the onion is going too? It's just like real life, where our planet is dying and we can't- <laughs> we won't be able to survive much longer. That's exciting. One thousand five hundred. Oh my god. Okay. Yay. <laughs> this could be us. <laughs> this is cute. Sure, how could it be nuclear warfare if everyone's still alive and the earth is thriving? I think it's zombies. Come in, come in, this is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will, operation will work. Uh. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the right most edge of the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Gabby the it. No We're counting on you. Hello? Well, you probably noticed that the Onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the Onion has so served as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. Oh. We've got a lot to do uh, and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. I will learn how to read one day. Alright, my little pally wallies. So, like. I missed. Oh! My little guy! He's got health. Ice? That's a pretty rock, isn't it? Doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Almar's voyage log. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should be able to find many application applications for it. Uh, how long do I plan on streaming? Um... <laughs> hey, wait, no, 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 that's not how the don't don't save redeem works. <laughs> you can't just, you can't just pile it on, you have to wait a half hour. I should make a cooldown for it, shouldn't I? Fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientists back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. 
That's it for now. I'll have you know that I'll probably be streaming for like another like four hours. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how my video game addiction carries on, you know what I mean? Huh? Dana stopped spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the Pikmin, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit. How many can it be out on the surface at a time? To prevent unnecessary loss. <laughs> Yeah, unnecessary loss. <laughs> Alright, my little children. I get more rocks. Okay. There he is! Oh, she came back to you. My little poach. My little oat. Uh, whoops. Wait, what? Come on, Mary, I forgot to... an important detail. That is, you're going to need Oshi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y to open actions and then use L to select the search command. I'll <laughs> enjoy Pinkman for now. Thanks. Begin with Command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find a rescue op- What the hell is a Dandori skill? You look a little confused. Have you never heard the term Dandori before, Mary? Yeah. Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Oh, me at work! I'm great at that. This practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Raising the art of Dandori is essential to our work. Don't leave it out there while searching for the rescue officers. To get things started, open Y actions to command Oshi to sniff out our missing comrades. Follow oh. Sen Ochi. But, but don't follow Sen too hard. I need you to kill this guy first. Got it. They'll be fine, I'm sure. He <laughs> made me six thousand business cards. Huzzah, now we can get past that wall. Oh god, is it egg time already? Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. The substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. I don't like that I can't like just throw them or like make them go like you know with like the control other control stick, you know what I mean? Ooh, a hole. Look, there's a cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into that cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Of course, Colin. Nerd.
Nice. Absolutely dominated that interaction just now. I'm not lost. I'm doing my own thing. Um, Pochi? Oh, you little idiot. Oh, she's tails burning. Put the fire with me right away. Of course, of course. Who do you think I am? Oh my god, he's got like no health. That's crazy. <laughs> Whoops. I'm sure we'll learn something about that later. Ooh, worm? <laughs> Can I have Spike? Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I got so many... I got so many rocks. Pochi is fucking dying. that long ago everything's like not decaying i don't know curious all right let's go in the little hole what is that maybe a voyage log entry relates to these coordinates yep here it is lost last frost cavern i heard a cave to look for ss dolphin parts and i found a creature that defies logic of space it further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air Imagine if there were a Pikmin that had been accl accl acclimatized, acclimated, accl accl acclimatized, acclim acclimatized, 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 to that cold air. This plant's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Take a look at this. That Captain Almar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Okay. Okay. Suggested 10. Oh, wait. I see. I have 10 extra Pikmin. But I won't need them, because these guys won't die, so... I love Dandori. I do, I do, I do, I do it a lot. People at work, they always like yell at me for not cleaning right away. But like, listen, there's things, there's ways to do things efficiently. Some of our missing rescue officers, time to get back to safety. Like, for example, you know, if you just work hard first. Okay, this is nice because I don't have to, like, uh, spend 80 years trying to aim. Oh. 
What's this? That's not treasure. Huh? Treasure or not? Those appear to have some sparklium. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. I doubt it. Okay, I got some more eggies for you guys who didn't have any. Nice. Okay, never mind. <gasps> Look at those little guys. Are those wild Pikmin? Uh... Get him! Is that hurting him? I can't tell. Doesn't look like it. Oh my god, he's going crazy? I'll help now. Good job, guys. But how is he ice? How made ice work? Warm? Die? Let's see the voyage log says. The ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. The bodies are made of ice? Who knew that? Something frozen can move around like that. It's incredible. Interesting. Very, very interesting. What is that goop? It's like moving. I love the auto lock. Oh my god, that makes my life so much better. I am not gonna lie. Seems like a lot of Pikmin are just... Is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin will, you find will join you. Wait, so I can't keep these guys then? That will make me very sad if, if so. Uh, 
I guess that's their onion, maybe? Doesn't look like it's sputtering. Looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Yeah. I like how they know to come back to me faster. A lot of improvements, I think. For me. <laughs> anyway. Huh? huh? This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. Not every onion is the same. Some have more layers than others. Paint. It's blue. Let's throw the blue guys at it. I want to eat it. Just like that. Frozen solid. Make a break if you hit it now. Get the order to the Pikmin or Ochi. Cool. Hydro jelly burst. Hey, there's a guy there. We found a castaway. Hurry and check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all with the normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. I guess so. Pikmin always has been about task management. I do- that's why I like it so much, I think, maybe. Did it! Let's take a look and see what the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ. Another lame-ass name. An inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Oh, thank the stars, he's alright. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge is beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Will be, that is to say. Wow! These all look like complete losers. Yeah, I think I'm all done. Nice. 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 Not an even number, that's okay. Okay, good. I mean, it was a single Pikmin yet so far, so I'd say I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Co-op points. Interesting. So you're more co-op points to receive items to assist other players and help master your Dandori skills. 
or Dondori if I was not American. <laughs> I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Mary, but something's off. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about one sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Time seems to move differently in the underground underground spaces in this on this planet. God, I just can't read, man. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Oh, so this is what you mean by the time travel. Oh, it does look different. Hey, the engine sucked it up. The voyage log says the white bulb is called the flaric. Fla flarlic. Oh, it is garlic. Oh my god, Emily is a genius. <laughs> if we bring flarlic to the onion, it will increase the number of Pikmin it releases to onto the surface at any one time by 10. Whoa, that'd be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. Okay. Well, I already have 30, so. Epic. So def how do I separate my Pikmin? Because I definitely don't think I should be attacking the flame guy with uh, anyone besides like my um my red ones. I am not going to lie. Being really careful. Epic. New base. Huh, another circle of stones. You can find them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Almar left them behind for us so we could track him down. At any rate, this seems like another good spot for a base. Use A to call the SS Beagle here. Any Pikmin on standby near the landing site will be transported via the SS Beagle and they can regroup here. Be sure to move your base wisely. Another way to show the efficiency and good din dondori skills instincts. I'm great. Wow, that's helpful too. So they can go in water is what they said? What? Under construction at some point, I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. It looks tasty. How do I separate my pigment? Maybe I'll learn. Right, can I do this without killing any Pikmin? Uh. You don't want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, they're a handy trick for keeping them in your sights and aim where you want them. Press ZR to fix your auto tar target lock and keep your aim focus on one target. Oh, okay. What button was it? <laughs> Alright, you got it. <laughs> 
How do I? Do Sorry, what was the button? No. No. Oh god, Ochi! <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> okay, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. We're talking about Pikmin. Okay, Ochi can come back to life, but <laughs> my Pikmin can't. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god. That actually makes me really sad. Uh oh. Whew. If I wasn't a coward, I could have let Ochi live, but now I have to be sad and look at him, like, be knocked out. Oh, that's so depressing. Oh, my little, my little buddy. I'm sorry. My, my little pal. Does it still have a pinned message for you guys on Twitch? That's so true. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, I'll probably move this rocks and like the last thing I'll probably be able to do. Recipes all of our. Okay, I think he's healed now. I'm sorry, buddy. That was very cringe and fail of me. Um... ZR. Did I press that? I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Oh my god. Bro, you scared me. a cute, cute place. Hey. Look at the time! An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. No. According to Captain Almar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. No, no, no. Seems like creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Oh good, it tells me how many I'm missing too, that's cute. How much time do I have? Am 
Is this a dot or to the edge of the meter? I will find out. Alright, my little buddy, let's go check a little look-see around while we're waiting. Gets to the dot. Onion up there, okay, cute. There's only one circle. Does that mean I have to have like the different onion types? Like in different circles throughout the area or something? Or they combine like an Olimars that he had. I feel like Sierra is right. I feel like this is easier. I'm not saying that because day one I haven't lost a single Pikmin, but... It's you know, like the auto-targeting. Nice. Cool. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> of course, Captain. I had no doubt the emergency escape system I developed would function properly. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. Who would expect an emergency escape device to be a little bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency? Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, tell us uh, if you come across any rocks like this before you, we found you. <laughs> oh, Colin, 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 not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks became soft and malleable, and can be shaped in any form you desire. And space properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. Cool doesn't mean to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been researching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading a 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. That would be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building that might, needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be the key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're right here. Woo! I used a pin. Oh, Hi. yeah, no problem. Wait, did he get bigger? Am I crazy? Is my dog bigger? Wait. It's just me or did Oshi go through a growth spurt overnight? Oh my god, it's not just me. That's actually quite typical for this breed. It's a sign that he's fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. God. Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Oshi's come to his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. That's so cute. Right. Another benefit of Oshi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. 
With regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for every day. <laughs> Sorry. The, the pig pin lying on the ground in the back. <laughs> useful for everyday rescue operations. The look of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill that pup drive. All right, officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. I now call the strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the important uh, on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Hehe, <laughs> my absolute pr pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected in the field into all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Excellent, of course. I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up something, some exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you all out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure, but raw material too. And don't forget about our mission in rescuing officers. We're counting on you to find them, Mary and Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. You got it, boss. So, I can... Hmm... Was it lab? Ahem. Let me introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of the rescue corps operation. I use the rum chili you find. It uh, has some cards to create all kinds of items of gear for you to use in the field. Okay. Acquire all gear from the lab. Okay. Okay. Ayo. Nice. Nice. I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow the horn once uh, in order to pick me to charge. Press X once, your, own, your selective pigment or Ochi will charge, but keep pressing X and the entire squad charges. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You could even call it a Dandori Dynamite. Epic. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> I saw the items, but I don't think I will be purchasing bombs. <laughs> Sierra, if, if life's taught me anything, I should not be using bombs in any circumstance, if possible. Uh, spoiler! Spoiler alert! Hello? Yeah, so spoilers. You need bombs in a game that gives you bombs? It's crazy. Danger constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you and Oshi might just save you. As long as you and Oshi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready because it's time to start your training. Okay. Alright, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you two can handle it. Um, and passed on for many generations. If Ochi's pup drive is built up sufficiently, you can train and learn new skills without a problem. So what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two want to take. Go to the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go to the chomp path if picking up creatures is your priority. Keep proper dandori practice in mind and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. Um, probably chomp. Since I will be making him... Um... Scummy bone. If everything you had to that training, what a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you. Going forward, every time you complete training, I'll give you a scrummy bone. Give it Ochi's reward for me. Scrummy bone. 
Oh, it seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. From Y actions, open your pack with L. You find all your items in there, so just pick the one you want to use. Okay. What a little guy. I want to train the, the health thingy. Wait. Wait, what? Am I crazy? Oh, the two. I see. Ready to explore. Epic. Buff is better to learn early game. Well, Sierra, it's not about my Dandori, okay? <laughs> it's my Dandori, I do what I want. Like, pronouncing it incorrectly. Come in, come in, over. As we discussed earlier, Oshi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Oshi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Oshi and press Y to mount. Press it again to dismount. Press X when you want Oshi to use jump. You should have no problem clearing small ledges. I want to watch that again. Hold on. Interesting. I want to build bridge. I believe we could turn this parcel construction into a vital asset. Look for processed raw material to clay at the SS Beagle and use other building material to finish the structure. Hello, hello. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god, is he having it in his mouth? Epic. Hehe. Oh. <laughs> Construction of the clay bridge is complete. Now you can come and go as you please. Go ahead, cross it. Admire the impressive craftsmanship. He says that like he like did it. Oh, 
Oops. Uh, why? Cool. This is great. This is a great game. So, was it X? Nice, cute. That's dirt? I don't know about that. Interesting. They're so cute. I guess I'll pluck them. Hello! Hi! Hop on, buddy. Nice. This is the greatest game ever made, actually. This is awesome. My little bouncy dog. My little Pikmin riding my bouncy dog. Oh shit, there's something up here. I probably need the yellow ones, right? Because they're lighter. scared. I need more rocks actually to be able to do that. Huh. 
Possibly. Can I not get this yet? Or like... There's another one here. Interesting. Oh, so they still have the mission to go back there. That's interesting to keep in mind. That's actually kind of annoying. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my last five? Oh, I can't do math. Uh, let's go in this cave. ground started moving. I groped for a way forward, but I couldn't make any progress on my own. I wonder if Moss may be able to help me out of this mess. Okay, maybe Moss is a guy I need. Okay, let's go to the other, the other hole. Unless they mean like the item Moss, but... Hotter than usual, my spacesuit. When I looked down, the ground was on fire. Panicked, but what if anyone just gave me a sidelong glance? Flynn faces if a fire looked at them. They're clearly capable of more than just uh, skillful attacks. Um. My little dog doesn't have a fire suit. Is that gonna be okay? Moss is the dog. What do you mean? Oh, like his dog. Ew. So, like, my dog will be helpful. How would I know that his dog's name is Moss? Am I supposed to just remember that? That's crazy. Uh Guys, I love Skibidi Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm invested. I'm invested. You know, I, I, I'm curious to know, like, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna win the war? Oh good, more raw materials. I need that. My little yellow guys. Nice. a new type of Pikmin? Should check to see if Captain Olimar's locks has said anything about them. I love them. I decided to call yellow color Pikmin with large ear like appendages yellow Pikmin. I like that name a lot more than ear Pikmin. They resist to electricity and they fly high when thrown, plus they're good at digging. <laughs> resistant to electricity, how unusual. What in the world are they made of? That sounds like a potentially useful quality though. Just be careful how many you how you deploy them. There aren't that many. De verdad. More sparkly, um. Uh. What was that? It looks kind of like a tasty treat. I love tasty treats. like a little eraser up there. That's kind of cool. more egg or nah? I used up all my egg. Just me and my little pallies, you know? everything on this floor, right? I love how this little dog runs. Oh my god. Look at his little claws. 
Look at his little poofy tail. New gear is now available. Yes. God, I've been freaking decimating my lips fighting them recently. I literally mean like today and yesterday. Tell him to see a castaway nearby. Castaways. We are castaways. go. Castaways. We are castaways. Oh, hey. Yellow Pikmin are great at digging holes. Is that a yam? Sure, fuck you. I'm just very slowly looking around, hello? Is that a macaron? Okay, that is a little creature. What's that guy? It's a little hard to make them target stuff, actually. Be very careful that I'm not sending the wrong color Pikmin out. Oh, there's a little guy over there. I love Pikmin. Huh? 
How many boys can I fit on my dog? I think we might have found another rescue officer. Let's hurry and verify their ID info. Uh, schnoz. Interesting. An acclaimed treasure appraiser who has traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. Hang on, this is no rescue officer. Who is this and how did he get here? The idea shows that he's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Oh, no. Hmm, I wonder. No. What? You remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Alomar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were other ships, uh, others who picked up the signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Oh. Maybe they ended up like Captain Alomar. Two shipwrecked. Oh, two. Shipwrecked and stranded. <laughs> okay. Yep, stripwrecked and stranded, my two least favorite things. That's my hunch, anyway. I like to think this appraiser is only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways. We're ready to rescue them, too. Chances are they're in danger. I'm officially adding the storm mission list. Got it, you two? Castaways. We are castaways. Something... Oh, boy! Wow, wow, wow. So what is this little guy? It looks like it's on fire. Let's get this out of the way for now. How was I supposed to know it would do that? Rewind time. <laughs> Has it been a half hour since the save redeem? <laughs> I have to go into my Twitch studio manager. Uh, uh how do I look? Can I even tell from here? Nah. Uh, hold on. I just have to really quickly take a little look see here. Uh dashboard. Uh, let's see. One hour ago. Perfect. <laughs> How was I supposed to know it would flip over? How was I supposed to know that? I'm not fucking telepathic or whatever. Vamos. My bad. I'll keep that in mind for next time. How 
do I fucking... Wait, did I win? That was easy. Mayo. I don't even have my possession right to transport myself with them. I mean, I, I can believe it happened, but it still doesn't make me any less upset. Okay. Let's see everything that's down here. Dog. I love oat. Pup drive up. Hell yeah. And no Pikmin lost. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's the problem? Oh, I see. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. Yeah, that limits how many what size of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any one time. Don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Any remaining Pikmin will go back to the end with the SS Beagle. I need these guys. Uh... I don't know how many I'm gonna need, so I'll just take all of the yellows. I need to get this. And I wanna get this. Eh. Mm. What the hell? I have an idea. Let me get this first. You guys have enough people? Epic. Maybe I don't have a plan. I take it back. We can take out 10 more Pikmin now. Let's just speed up our search.
Let me start putting Pikmin away so I get less stressed about it. I gotta get to these boys. Interesting. Nice. Pretty successful, I would say. I'm still shocked that Captain Almar isn't the only castaway on this planet. Well, Almar's SO signal was transmitted across the entirety of our outer space. It was not completely unexpected that the message would capture the attention of adventure seekers and draw them here. And as a rescue corps, now it's our duty to rescue every last one of them. I love the enthusiasm. Of course, the more rescues we make, the more crowded the rescue command post will get. Colin, I need to further develop and expand the rescue command post. Copy that, Captain. Also, job duties keeps getting longer and longer. Interesting. Incredible. I feel like the gear and items I've created will be pivotal to your explanations, I guarantee it. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, that's helpful. Scummy bone. Interesting. Scummy bone. Okay, Twain. Uh. Instead of waiting. I feel ready to learn a little more power skill. Big chomp. Nice. 
up the good work. Remember, no slacking. Let's go. This is a big area, though. They're like, oh, you can explore a new area at 1,500, but there's like a lot to explore still, I think. I probably could have talked to the treasure appraiser, I just realized. Oh well. See, I only, I only did like a quarter of it so far. I want to freeze the water. Maybe. Let's just try that. I want to see how it goes. What do you mean, oh, can't swim? Why would that be the case? Oshi, even a brave health like him gets scared sometimes. Don't push him. I won't. He can stay there if he wants. I can't throw them in the water. Interesting. I don't understand. I'm very confused. Okay, well, well, we'll solve that problem later, I guess. I throw him over the fence, maybe? Okay, well, I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Top of the mountain, but the inside is more completely than expected. Only now do I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I ever make it out of this place, I'll deserve a good rest. Uh, 
Suggested? Alright. I'll go with the suggested ones. Aquiferous. I always pronounce it as... Is it aquiferous? Because it's an aquifer. So, aquiferous? I don't know. So, I don't get how you freeze the water. I think I understand. If you have enough, you can freeze the water. Okay, interesting. Wow, how amazing is that? The water froze almost instantaneously. Now you can travel right across the top. Huh. Interesting. Bark, 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 bark. What does that even do? Help me. Oh, does it stay frozen? Oh, no, okay. Oh, whoops, I mean to do that. Interesting. Very interesting. I need a new chair cushion, I think. <laughs> Bouncy. Red. No. Huh? Look at that red nectar. I wonder. Right, the spicy stuff. Oh, this is that ultra spicy nectar I was mentioned in the voyage log. Keep that sample sealed up in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. It's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. I sh it should be useful.
Huh. I wonder if I can, like, pick them up and carry them up here? Because I don't think they can jump over there by themselves, right? Oh, it'll probably be good if I knock this down, maybe. Something's blocking the Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, no, don't worry. I already solved that mystery. Dog like bouncing feels so good. Beep, 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 little guy. That's everything. Oh, a little guy. Who could it be now? Second ID info now. I hope it's one of the rescue officers this time. Kingsley. He took his session with flowers to a new level when he traveled alone to this remote planet simply to see its unusual blossoms. Nope. This is another civilian castaway. Forest out here on his own, but why? Well, that's just ill advised. It's up to you to rescue any castaways you find, Marion Ochachi. Ochi, whatever her name was. I've been calling you Oat for so long, I don't remember. Epic. Cute. Hell yeah, brother. I almost can explore a new area. That's exciting. The loading screen's so long, though. Or maybe I'm just impatient. Who knows? Um... I freaked out. Okay, actually. Now that I know how to freeze the lake. 
let's just take more of these guys out, I think. What on earth is that guy? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, those butterflies. I was like, what the hell is that guy? I need 30 of them, which I think I have. They're all in like varying places though right now. Maybe I'll focus on that later. Whoa, 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 whoa. No? What did I even just do? Oh, I see. Alright, I definitely don't want to fight that guy, RN. I think I might want to do this, though. Watch out. Is that another onion? This one's a different color from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? Okay, maybe I do want to... Try to get that guy. Oh shit! Is that Olimar over there? Money, huh? I don't think I have enough, um... 
don't think I have enough, like, holding capacity of guys to be able to do that. Um, let's see the other treasure that's here. I guess we could go do this other dungeon. I guess we could also get this other treasure too. All these bodies everywhere still. Lol. Clown nose? I could probably get the other guy too, but... Maybe it's a bead. Oh hell yeah. Did a really good job, Ochi and Mary. All the energy you've collected, and we can continue our frustration with the SS Shepherd's radar. Interesting. Let's go get this bish. Okay, fine.
Soon. Soon I will have enough. what the exact time amount I have once it like turns evening so I, I as much as I want to keep exploring this usually what I would do I'm like paranoid about it like there's that timer so I have plenty of time but <laughs> knowing me knowing me yeah, I was just like uh, you know Whatever new item is developed in the lab, a single prototype will be available to you, so you can give it a free test run. So I didn't pick up my glasses today. <laughs> I just kept putting it off. Hey, I got another guy for you guys. I guess a radar increase. Or whatever. Going to restore that to Shepherd's Rainer. Blah, 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 blah. Let's expand our range and help us pick a dis distant SOS signals. Let's give it a spin. Almost done. Huzzah! We've detected multiple SOS signals. Help us get us closer to finding our missing officers in Capital. After no, 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 remember. Make rid of that area right away, Colin. Ooh. Good progress, good progress. By the way, Mary, you press minus and over shortcut settings. Yeah. Really? You can sign the rescue journals with one of those? Of course, and you could reference it whenever you need some quick advice. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm simply vibing and doing my own thing, so... So can I talk to those guys? Thank you so much for asking me the other day. I confess I'm really quite flustered. I can only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Oh, my apologies. I'm schnoz. You know what I did to praise our treasures? I often compile my findings in a little log for posterity's sake. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. And then the florist guy. Hey, their name's Kingsley. I run a flower shop back at home. I actually came to this planet to find rare flowers and things took a turn. Once again, I'm gazing at a glorious bud and the next thing I know, I'm stranded. So yeah, I've had enough adventure for the time being. I don't think I'll be doing much more exploring around here. Alright, let's see what he invented. Icy Blast. Okay. Actually, I don't have enough things to train my puppy. I already know that for a fact. Stand risk, ready to explore. Okay. 
it's like so not far away from like us compared to like us but for them i guess it's like a huge trick huh interesting I think another garlic so I can get more Pikmin out so I can get the other Pikmin onion. And then we'll freeze the water, get the other guy. Oh, shit. It looks the cookies. Nice. What is happening here? I see something or someone. It was the next time. It doesn't look like any of the rescue officers. Hey, what's going on there? What are they planning to do with the castaway? What? On Earth? I see how to pull that down now. Okay. Interesting. You have my little my little yellow ones. The possibly just got a lot cooler. is on their heads. Like, what's going on? Looks like some sleepy individuals. Looks kind of different than the last one, though. Don Dory, Don Dory. 
What the hell is going on here? I think I'm going to do the other one first. Why is it turning so much? I just want to see if, um... Uh, I can throw the yellows up there on the thingy. And then we'll do the other little cave thingy here. I knew it. I like the little noise that makes me walk across the bridge, too. It's pretty good. Pretty tiny pumpkin. What? Uh, interesting. Huh? What's going on here? The Pikmin are falling for some reason. Guess you two are on your own. Good luck, Mary. You too, Ochi. What? Huh? A task just for me? So my Pikmin can be safe? Oh, I see. Okay, I get it now. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm picking up what's being put down. What is this place? I guess we can figure that out later. Now let's look, focus on finding that castaway. I see them over there. What in the world? Those who not embrace Dandori cannot survive on this planet. If they, if they grow the leaves, they will thrive. You, Skinavig One, do you believe you do not need the leaves? I will test your abilities to see if this is true. What on earth? I invite you to face me in a Dundori battle. I provide the Pikmin you will need to support you in the challenges ahead. Listen closely. Find objects and transport them back to your base within the time limit. To win, collect the highest total combined weight. You wish to retrieve your castaway? Prove that your Dandori abilities are superior to mine. Now the Dandori battle begins. Interesting.
interesting. This is interesting. Oh, wait, those are not my Pikmin. Interesting. I got confused for a second. Interesting. Oh, there's a bridge over here? So stuff like it keeps appearing. Huh. I didn't expect that. I'm really confused. I am enjoying Pikmin 4. For the pros, besides dog, you don't need anything else. How do I get them up there? Sixty-nine points. Ow, ow, ow. I messed that up. I messed that up a little bit. Stop it! My guy! I just like, this is very... Like, I just didn't ask that things to respawn, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, well. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was focusing my Dondori battle here. Kinda crushed it. Um, what are, what are the most pros? Dog. Since your Dundori power is magnificent, I can return this one to you. This is a very weird game, even by Pikmin standards. They just left. Who in space and time was that? Well, wherever they are, they weren't lying. Your Dandori talents were on full display. Now let's get this castaway out of here. Interesting. I definitely did, was not being strategic about that. I was more like, okay, here's here's a new item. Grab it. Grab it right now. And let's go. <laughs> I don't know if strategic is the right word I would use to explain how I did that battle. Huh? They really are growing leaves out of their head. They seem to be suffering from the same condition as that leafy individual you just challenged. Transform them back to the SS Beagle right away. Sure.
I'm gonna try to fall. Can't get over the fact that they have leaves around their head and their face is all well bushy. Let's check the ID info. Error. What's this? Unable to read data. It should have biometric authentication, but this is definitely an issue. How are you supposed to find out who this is? I don't know. Pick off the leaves from their face. All right. I guess we'll do this one too. Okay. Another Don Dory game. Aw oh, man, I saw that freaking Eclair donut and now I want one. I love food and tasty treats. All I have now is Nutella. I ate all my cones. I ate. I don't think I uh, my ice cream, which was like two packs of chip witch sandwiches. This place is for testing Dundori. Do more Dundori, improve Dundori. Simple goal. Carry as much as you can until time ends. That is all. <laughs> Treasure here, all fake. You cannot carry home. Pikmin here, all mine. Also cannot take home. This means Ken Dondori forever. This is bliss for me. And for you. Do well, get raw material. Don't do well, also get raw material. You wish to take me from here? Show me your best, Dondori. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this is. What's that? Do I, I just have to get it? Like... Whoa. I just have to like do good, basically. I can do that. <laughs> I've been good a time or two in my life. Gathering Pikmin, that is the foundation of good Dandori. I'm doing the worst Dandori right now, I possibly can. I also keep hitting the wrong button. Pikmin that way. I'm doing really bad at this, actually, I would say.
I feel like I could be doing this significantly better than I am currently. Hello. Oh, interesting. I keep I keep hitting the wrong button. anything left. I think that's it. Okay, well. Done, Dori. Because I'm pretty damn good at it, huh? Could have been done significantly better, but I got the high score, so at the end of the day... Oh, I can get a time bonus. Yeah, get owned, idiot. Take these 30 pieces of raw metal. This is your reward. Oh my, they fainted. I wonder what caused that. Well, I guess this is our chance to get them out of here. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh my god, I just really like never made plans with my friend tomorrow. I just kinda said we're hanging out and then I like didn't message back. Uh the meh I wanna go. I thought that leaf girl there is no way to tell who this is, but it doesn't matter, it's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside the cave. Let's build, keep the lid closed as a precaution. Uh. Worm? Hello, Annie, this time. I'm sure I can count on you to carry it back to the base. You sure frickin' can. PNF 404. Planet not found. I see, I see. Also, I realized how to get how to get the other uh, other onion. So we'll get that after this one. I 
I see. Uh, I believe it'll end this fuse, and now there's just one with two colors. Wait, I think I'll be able to propagate Pikmin of both types now. Okay. Did I finish that uh, that cave then? I don't think I did, right? Okay, look. So now, right, my dog is my dog hates the water. Wait, they came on the water? What? Never mind. I don't have any idea. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't work out how I hoped it would. Okay. So I still haven't done this one. Let's move our base back over here. Actually. I think that other treasure that's here. I might need to get the other yellow Pikmin back out. another thing here. Alright, there's two caves I can do. And then these guys I can also go and get more uh, thingies, so that way I can get more boys. Satisfying like noises. And you also combine them with the uh the the controller vibrating, you're like, ooh. Crisp. Hectic hollow. Someone or someone built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able to scram up, but the moss wasn't able to climb up the wall. I had to leave her behind for now and hoping to find a way or a place to meet up. I don't know why the little, like, rocket ship following me is so funny. Rescue, treasure. What are those things? Interesting. Interesting. Interesting.
I'm not trying to log, like, hit the mushroom. I'm trying to hit the thing next to it. Okay. Not auto locking though. The, and the sensitivity of the thing is so high. you guys up there so they can't swim I didn't expect that I'm not gonna lie I guess they just like float in the water then. My little buddy! My little buddy! Oh, I would do anything for this little dog guy. I literally, like, did not see any spoilers for this game at all. Like, until I saw the promotional poster to do, like, to do the, the opening thumbnail. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a full crew to attack that guy. Yeah, that was the number one hardest part about uh, the other Pikmin is me trying to like focus on like the right thing, like the the right enemy, and like get a, a good angle. So I'm kind of glad they did this, even though I guess it is a skill issue. Still. It froze? Just stand there, now's your chance. Huh. Guess I never thought about that. I see one of you still hasn't gone on the thing. I see you. really does it just it's just it's just satisfying oh did I get more Pikmin out of that come on little guys there we go epic I don't know why I have to like pick the Pikmin up before I go down. I it's just like, if you've never had to do that, but I just do it anyway. 
just feel bad if I don't, you know? Must be a castaway nearby. Castaways. We are castaways. Oops. This seems weirdly ominous. That doesn't count. Those are my Pikmin. <laughs> Did any Pikmin die from that? I assume two of them. I didn't do that though. That's not my fault. Oh, no, I didn't lose anybody. Ta-da! Castaways. We are castaways. Oh my god, like, this is like a singular entity. I got really confused. How do I get that guy? Don't I need like a the yellow? I didn't tell me to bring any yellow. Why didn't somebody bring any yellow then? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't tell me to bring yellow. What the freak? Unless there was some other way to do that, and I'm just stupid. All possible. That's okay. We can do it again. We can do it again. There's nothing wrong with that. Also, I like that you can go to any unlocked sub level. I feel like this game, they, they did they did make it a lot easier. Pikmin is a stupidly hard game, though, for no reason. To be totally fair.
Huh. It's weird that there's no, like, thing there, you know what I mean? Huh? Never play these games, they look too confusing. Confusing, maybe not hard, yeah. What do I do here? Oh, wait, maybe, uh. Nice. I'm a genius. How can y'all want to play this one, though? Look at this little guy. Look at this little fella. Alright, let's check out that ID. Look what we have here. Dingo. An officer who sells a solo mission. He's not a joiner by nature, but he'll show up and lend his physical abilities when need be. I knew it. I knew it was too tough who was he was tough enough to make it. Dingo is a skilled ranger, even though he doesn't use a... Even though he's a rescue pup. He specializes in solo missions, you see? One thing's for certain. Rescue missions should be a lot easier with his help. Yahoo! Check down a ranger dingo. The only rescue officers still out there now are the doctor and the pilot. Yahoo! I right, we still have that one other cave to do. Oh, maybe I could do that then to get that watch. Hmm. Hey, there's a yokai behind you. Where? <laughs> yeah, he was gone for a little bit. Now he's back. I turn him on and I just forget and then he's there forever. Yeah, that seems like fine. Um... Be careful. No, he's friendly. Don't worry. I'm so smart. Okay, I know how to get up there too. Hurry up! I hate Olimar. My Sierra hates Louie, and so do I. Olimar's fine.
<laughs> Man, Resident Evil looking mad different. <laughs> Both dealing with post-apocalyptic worlds and how to navigate them. Real. Oh, I guess getting the doctor able to help treat the leaf people, I guess, right? My pupper! Oh! What's all the way over there? Captain, what's the protocol for a situation like this? You know, she need to find a rendezvous point, Mary. Open actions and switch to explore Zochi. Oh, worm? This seems dangerous. A little tech deck. I see. I'm so nervous about dropping my guys <laughs> into the void. Don't let them die. I'm gonna try my damnedest. Gave me a helpful hint before. I'm so nervous. Is there a button to get rid of the gate? So paranoid about losing these guys. Look at the background. Good stuff. <laughs> I'm so nervous about having like the the pits around me though. You know, usually I love holes and stuff like that, but always 
I have my Pikmin with me, you know, it's like always like a horrible danger, which is the, which is myself. I'm the danger. <laughs> my ability to throw Pikmin over the ledge is rivaled by no one, I imagine. Look at like the stuff. It's like an actual factory. Huh. Look at the giant fan. I guess it's probably less so now that I have um like the auto lock stuff. Nice. Okay, well, I hopefully I'll end in the next 45 minutes. But who knows, knowing me. Enjoy saving the Pikmin. I sure will. can't read. Interesting. Helps another rescue officer like our doctor or pilot. Dalmo. He loves animals and they love him. Researcher at heart, his passion for other creatures is as genuine as his smile. He is not smiling. <laughs> hmm, he appears to be an animal enthusiast. He must have seen the voyage log and came here looking for new species. <laughs> How many civilians decided to be a good idea to go trapezing off to this planet? Did they think this was some kind of hot new tourist destination or something? <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. I get as many flowers as possible for later on, you know? Woo! I kinda miss 
miss it being geysers, though. Having a fan is kind of, like, lame. I don't know, man. Spritz me fish that way. Oh, hell yeah. Star-shaped metal. Rusting with the appraisal AI. Now you'll be able to see when you've collected all the treasures in a series. <laughs> there's a reason there's resonance in the wave patterns for treasures of the same type, but let's, let's extract even more sparklium. Can't say that I get the science behind it, but it sounds like we should try to collect a complete series. Unlimited locomotive. Nice. It's just so it's just so long. <laughs> the loading screen is just so long. And I will take none of them with me because the time is about to end. Ta da. Right, he can't go in the water. He can't go in the water. He can't go in the water. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'll be able to carry out a few more Pikmin out of my thingy and then I'll be okay. Maybe I should just wait till I find blue Pikmin and come back. Main yaps. Oh, hell yeah. They lose around out of their head. It's so odd. There's poisonous oxygen in this planet's atmosphere that shouldn't be able to survive without their helmets. Something very strange is going on here. Indeed. Oh, hell yeah. I went kind of crazy on day five. Ooh, I almost completed that area. Well, Captain, we did it. We finally found our ranger, Dingo. Can't believe I had to be saved by the newbie. I'm losing my edge. We're just glad to see you made it back safe and sound, Dingo. Are you hurt at all? No, oh, not at all, Captain. <laughs> I'm just, uh, touched that you care. Hmm. The sails don't seem to be structurally sound. It's missing screws. The science guy, I can stand to worry about a little bit more. Um, uh, that reminds me, Captain. I have some use information regarding our pilot. Really? Do you know his whereabouts? Great work, Dingo. What? Er, no, no, that's not exactly... You must be exhausted from all that forced sleep you had. We'll go over the details tomorrow. Go get some rest. Huh? Oh, uh, you got it, Captain. She cares about my physical state. I mean, she cares! Oh, before you hit the hay, please be sure to review all the details related to our rescue mission so you're fully prepared. Is that really necessary? Uh, another note, Colin. Do we have any updates on the castaway we picked up today? The one with all the leaves? Uh, right, now they're sleeping in the back, but their condition remains unchanged. Don't worry, I'll keep a close eye on them. Very well, just make sure we get this castaway examined by the doctor as soon as possible. Now I can go back to the area and probably finish it maybe. No, I need to I need to figure out how to do that, but I need to get more things first, so. 
I'll go to the new area. I think it was a truly you counter our pilot while stranded. Well, uh, yeah, I ran to Bernard at some point, but then he got, like, snatched up by a leaf creature. Leaf what? So leaf creature pick up someone else and toss them into a big pup. And Bernard and I tried to follow it, but we were too late. He dragged the castle into a cave and suddenly they were growing leaves too. Yeah, exactly. The castle turned into something like that. Some leaf creature in charge spot us. We got out of there as soon as... Or as fast as we could, or at least I thought that's what I thought. When I turned around, Bernard was gone. Maybe he didn't make it out, or maybe he got turned to a leafling too. Hey, what's this leafling doing here anyway? And why are they unconscious? Is this, this your work comms guy? Obviously not. And I have no idea why they're currently unconscious. It was Mary who recovered them. Based on what you're saying, this leafling could potentially be Bernard? Potentially. By the way, Bernard and I learned to sort of... Sort of coined the term leafling. Came up with it because they have all those leaves growing out of their heads. Pretty clever, I know. This castle may be our pilot, but undoing his leafy state is beyond our expertise. We need to rescue these leaflings, but without a doctor, there's not much else we can do. We need to find Yanni, stat. Officers, your stations, please. Copy that, Captain. Great. Oh, interesting. Oh, we'll probably need that. Get a little scorch guard, that'd be good. Alright. I should be able to get um training now. Let's see. Um, probably. Let him learn how to heal. Scrummy is such a great word. Uh, just an absolutely fantastic word. Domo the creature guy. This guy? My name is Domo. When I heard about the creatures of this planet, I knew I had to come learn more about them. I dream of compli compiling everything we learned about the ecology of a little fierce... Fierce little, fierce, fierce little darling. Here's some kind of field guide. I hadn't gone surrounded to imagine how many cute little critters I would have encountered by now. It's almost embarrassing that I came here to learn about them and haven't laid eyes on a single one. Wait, you just encounter all kinds of creatures on your explorations. Please tell me everything about them. Naturally, I will prepare a token of my gratitude. Anything to learn about more of these sweet feral muffins. Alright, bad boy Halo. Yeah. You can all relax now. Dingo's back. I don't know how the rescue corps made it this long without me. I guess I'll find soon, soon enough since the captain's making me rest up a bit before I go back into action. Cool. I guess we'll do um one day of the new area. Maybe that will be it for me for today. I know those like little evil creatures when they grow up, but they're really cute right now. Oh shit, it's a playground. Ugh. 
little fluffy little head. Oh. Mary, come in over. Ochi isn't really like getting wet, but I've been working on it with him in the bathtub aboard the SS Shepherd. Okay. And last night you had a big breakthrough. Your rescue pup can swim. Epic. Hi. Now he's over this lake of water. He can jump and use doggy paddle to swim through any water obstacle. Yeah, no, she's back with a Pikmin and you can ride across by his water and explore new areas. Well, I'm glad I came here because now I can go back to the other area. Look how cute! They're probably gonna fuck up my Pikmin. They're probably gonna like fucking like absolutely demolish my Pikmin. But they're so cute. That's crazy. Their head's like a little frickin' dandelion. God. Ah, it's a leafling. Careful. Could be the one who attacked Dingo. Yeah, that's definitely them. Which means that could be Bernard on the ground next to them. Whatever it is, we can't let them get turned into leafling. Follow them. Okay. Do I even have enough stuff to do this? I don't know that I do. There's more over there I can go get. I do. Cute. Is, that is this electricity or is it cold? I think it's cold.
got a cave. What even is that? It looks like, like a shiny apricot. Ring pop. Oh, uh, now I want a ring pop. What is that little creature? Awful. I don't like it. This is so cute. How many? 40? I don't know how 40. Hot dog. An elephant slide. Okay. I don't know why I went the long way around, that's okay. I see. I was wonder I wasn't sure if they would hate that or not, and I guess the answer was yes, they would hate that. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought it was gonna like, explode on me. Oh my goodness.
Um. Let's do the cave. Beneath the passage, all I can see is an interminable darkness. I tossed a pebble into the abyss, but never heard it hit the ground. I must proceed with caution here. I don't want any Pikmin to accidentally float into their demise, let alone shaken off by some creature. That is such a mood. And then I'll use the ice creatures to try to break that fans. We'll play for Ring Pop, the red one. Easily the best one. Oh, glow stick bracelet. Stop. They're so cute. I do feel a little bad killing them, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm worried that they're, if they're too close to the edge, what will happen? See how they like, 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 like slightly bounce off? It's got me noivous. Nice. Okay. Yahoo. It's called Drafty Gallery, but... I still don't know why, and I'm still nervous to figure that out. Oh, like this one? This one's, this one's got me stressed as fuck. I aim to be looking the most to the middle as possible. Yeah, like that. I missed.
Okay. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. This seems really dangerous. Let's see if I can't do this by myself. <laughs> because I just know that it's gonna lead to disaster for me. Like, I probably can do it with how many Pikmin I have, but I don't want to risk it, you know what I mean? I don't need Pikmin. I have a dog. Is this like a bud that's transforming into stuff? Can't believe a flower that big is blooming underground. I believe it's called the candy pop bud. If when you throw a pigment into it, transform to a pigment that matches the color of the flower. Unbelievable. They can even change color? Pick one of the strangest creatures. Ice? I'm still missing one treasure. I see. Oh, it's so nerve wracking. a piece of train track. It's like the little noise they make when they 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 fly over it freaks me out, man. Cool. Okay. 
I'm being extra careful, even though I don't think I necessarily need to be. Okay, this I could do. Not like that, though. Oh, he's fucking after my ass. This is going to be a rough one. Wait, post you can drink that to heal? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm just gonna fight everything by myself, I think. I guess the best course of action here. My first rodeo. Owie. Owned.
All aboard the toxic gossip train. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation. Oh shit! Hello, hello. Fantastic, we accomplished our goal. With so much energy collected, we can really expand the radar search area. That is one way to do that. Now where's the exit? Oh wait. Uh... Oh I see. I'm sort of gonna like glitch them out for some reason because I'm just so so good at glitching stuff. Oh right, our, our things over there. Right. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> just their faint little cries in the distance. Yahoo! Still further down? Okay. Sure. So, I think, I guess, just one more level then. Epic. Oh, hell nah. Absolutely not. It's gonna be hard because, um... Maybe I can freeze them? I... 
I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Card. Francois. For years, the skull has been working to achieve his lifelong dream, reaching mutual understanding with plant life. Interesting. Cool, this place is just like Poppy Playtime, just a never ending void. Random factory stuff everywhere. Okay. Another cave well explored. It's a pretty, pretty good cave for energy. Hello? I guess I guess it to have four floors to be fair. Floors, if you would. F L O U R S. <laughs> um, yeah, that should be good. I think I just wanted the ice ones. I guess I have just jumped over this. Oh, there's like a spooky plant boy over there.
Ah, uh, okay. be it for today. Four and a half hours of Pikmin 4. That's what I should just do. I should stream Pikmin 4 at 4 p.m. for four hours. That's how I should be playing the game, I think. I know, Shy Dwake. It's okay. I'll be back tomorrow for Minecraft on YouTube at uh, 8 p.m. or so. Plus, I have to eat. Ooh, ooh Minecraft, though. <laughs> I gotta publish my VODs. I'll go publish some VODs. <laughs> I'm someone who likes, like, only watching stuff when, um, they're live, though. I don't know why. I just like, like, talking to people, like, in the chat, or, like, reading chat. Now I'll switch on the radar. It's working. Yes, once again, we detected more SOS signals in an unexplored area. I'm glad here our search radius has increased. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get out there and find our missing rescue officers and Captain Olimar. Francois. Sheesh. Still no Pikmin death, so I'm just gonna say. I don't get it. Why do we fight? And why does everything have to be a competition? Is it the matter, boss? Nah, just a passing thought I had while watching that Dendori battle. Just strikes me as sad. Here we are, all living together and sharing the same universe. We should be friends, not foes. Makes sense, but then shouldn't we and uh, you be friends with all the creatures of the universe as well? Creatures? No, no. That's an entirely different situation. Ooh. I would do anything for Oat. I would do anything for him, and I hope he knows that. What? <laughs> There's a human man close to getting a bit crowded, so we started clearing a new area and we came some upon something odd. Spaceship in disrepair. Huh, oh, it's clearly missing his captain. They're probably out there somewhere, in need of rescue. We'll do our best to find them. I almost forgot. We also found some raw materials while establishing the new area. Put, please let them put them to good use. Inido. Mine. I thought it would be useful, actually. What? Wait, that's awesome. Wait, that's awesome. I want that. Playing him in. Okay. Pluck. 
dig. Big Chomp. Oh, let's learn Big Chomp. That's a good boy. That is a good boy. I would do anything for you. Look at that little creature. Look at his little tongue. He's perfect in every way possible. Epic. Look at how he look at how he runs. Look at how he, he gallops. Yeah, you're right, he is pretty perfect, I know. Look at his little tail. Look at his little wobble. He gallops. He doesn't run, he gallops. Incredible. This is what peak performance looks like. And he also- he protect and he attack. And he bork. I don't know what else you could want out of a creature. To be completely honest with you. And he can carry little guys on his back. I mean, he's just... You can't ask for anything more, to be honest with you. And solid pink collar. Crushing stereotypical dynamics. <laughs> I think that's my choice, because I chose a pink uniform, to be fair. Alright. Well. That's that. <laughs> Time for me to eat. <sighs> well, I love it. I do think it is a lot easier than the other Pikmin, to be fair. Um, I hope we get more lore about the failings of Earth and what happens. Um, but yeah, have a great night, guys. Make sure you're eating and drinking water and taking your vitamins and your medication and sleeping right and going to bed on time. And not staying up till like 2 a.m. and uh, d d brushing your hair and showering and uh, telling your loved ones you love them. And have a very good night. Okay, bye. Don't do that. Bye.